Franco Mustard's omnipresence playing on the blindside flank deservedly earned him the Man of the Match award, but the undeniable talking point after Twickenham, from a Springbok point of view, was Damien Willemsa. England felt much of the same sentiment. His two drop goals played a major part in ensuring that the box in this game capitalised on the pressure, being exerted by propelling his team ahead on the scoreboard and delivering a telling psychological blow to England. This match rugby is all about consistency. It's being consistent in your basics. You know, win, win, win the aerial contest when you play against South Africa, when you play against New Zealand, you've got to win the ruck, ruck contest. And we, we just weren't consistent enough in, in those, in particular the aerial contests, and we weren't consistent enough in the set piece contest today. We put ourselves in a good position. So we've just got to, we've got to keep working hard. Not that it was those kicks that really defined a stellar all-round performance, for he was also to spark the counter-attack that started inside the Bok 22 and ended with Kurt Lee Arnsa scoring on the other end of the field. Because it's difficult, mate, when you play against good teams. You know, sometimes they take away the things you want to do, and South Africa were good at taking away the things we wanted to do. We've been really fantastic in the air up until today, and for some reason we weren't. Um, and sometimes that can be a system, a system problem in your team and sometimes it can be just individuals having days off. It wasn't a completely perfect performance and he did miss two tackles in the build-up to England's only try. When the box were down 14 men due to sending off of replacement prop Thomas Dutoit. But he was playing on the wing by then to accommodate Mani Lubbock at Flyhoff. Malone Fekan, Hosuetu TV Sports.